uh, REZ 2019-02, property location 1504 Madison Highway. Ms. Molly? Thank you. This is a request to rezone approximately 1.25 acres from R10 to M1 on Madison Highway. The back of the property is at Bernice Drive, part of the Brownwood Heights subdivision. The entrance is on is from Madison Highway. The back of the property is fenced off. Prospective buyer intends to package cosmetics for online sales. They plan to utilize ISO container shipping containers for building construction. There is a block uh, prop building on the property that, if usable, they would. Um, it would become their construction office and storage. M2 zoning is across Madison Highway as well adjacent as adjacent to the south, which is a salvage yard. The TRC has no objectionable comments, and staff found the request consistent with the comprehensive plan and future development match map which depicts the property in an industrial activity center character area and recommends its approval. The uh, prospective property owners are here this evening. Okay. Commissioners, any discussion or questions? Madam Chair, is this the case that we discussed last week where we just, the container just stack and yes. move forward that way? And, and I believe we do have a short PowerPoint presentation that they're going to show to explain that a little bit better. Good. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? All right. Yeah, <laughs> um, all right, we'll enter um, into the public hearing. Is there anyone here wishing to speak um, in favor of the request that's being presented tonight? Please come forward. Sir, if you'll state your name and your address, please. I'm Greg Satfield from Lake Wales, Florida. Okay. We're a Nova Cosmetic Solutions, LLC. We are a small manufacturing company. We're an internet, internet and social media based retailer with 85,000 followers. We do cosmetic ingredient repackaging and mixing. We have free online skincare education strategies and consulting. So while we're waiting on this, so do you have this container operation in another location, sir? We're in China. I'm talking about, I'm talking about uh, what you're going to do here, where you're going to use the containers for your packaging. I'm just curious if this be your first Location. Location to do the containers. Yeah. Yeah. In China. Yeah. We have it in China. We're moving it onshore. <coughs> We're an export. The, the containers are not engraved in stone. We have to get a local engineer. We have to meet all the codes that you guys have. We may not do it that way. We yeah. depends on what they tell us. When you're making cosmetics, you have cosmetic ingredients. There's a big difference between making cosmetics and making the ingredients. If you're going to make ingredients, there's chemical reactions allowed. High heat might be needed. High pressure can be used. You'll have chemical waste. And final products will be thicker, silicons, emulsifying packs. An example of that would be Dow Chemical. When you're making cosmetics, there are no chemical reactions allowed. No high heat needed, no high pressure, no chemical waste. Final products are moisturizer, sugar scrubs, lotions. Company example, that would be L'Oreal. Everything we make can go on your face, your hands, your body. <coughs> you can't eat it, but you can rub it all over you, and it's not harmful. And we're registered with the FDA. How do we make it? Basically, we mix the ingredients together to achieve a certain texture. Pack it into bottles, jars, and tubes. The cleanup is uh, warm water, sanitized with household bleach. You can do it in your kitchen, literally. 
we have minimal environmental impact. There are no chemical reactions and no harmful chemical waste. No high heat, smoke, dust, or fumes, or any other hazards released anywhere. No noise can be heard outside the building. Little to almost no waste. Energy and water consumption is much less compared to other industrial industries or restaurants. All our ingredients are safe, and the final products are considered safe for humans and animals by the FDA. This is an example of, this is our mix of paint top. We mix 20 to 30 liters at a time. Uh, we don't make color cosmetics at this time. We make things for anti-acne, uh, skin conditions, over oily skin, over dry skin. Those are the kind of things that we look to make. This machine is what fills the containers. That big uh, thing sitting on top, you put the product in there, and then it dispenses a precise amount into each bottle, tube, or jar. That's pneumatically operated. Uh, again, small equipment, no noise. And even when we step up in size, it's just about like that, just a little larger version of it. This machine here is a heat tunnel. Some of our products are shrink wrapped. So you cut the shrink wrap, drop it on that, the conveyor runs it through and it shrinks it down. So when the product is shipped, you don't have the cap coming off. And then you put the product in the, in the postal system. So some products we shrink wrap to make them more stable. You use hand mixers, very much like you might use in your kitchen, just a little larger. Almost everything we deal with is 316 stainless. The FDA looks at us and they want sanitation. It's a must. We have testing to back it up. And so just about everything we use is famous. Good, high quality. Our ingredients, we store them in food grade storage containers. Again, we're inspected by the FDA. They walk in and they don't see what they like, they shut us down. So we have to do it the way they want it done. Why well, down Boston? Why not somewhere else? Georgia is rated the number two business-friendly state in the nation in terms of governmental support for businesses. Did you guys know that? Mm -hmm. It is. We're an exporter. Graphic location benefits shipping costs for our online business. We have a good workforce and nice, nice weather. We don't have snow and ice like they're experiencing up north right now. We're still a small company. We're moving our manufacturing back to the U.S. We're looking for industrial property that is portable and suitable for our current needs. The property at 1504 Madison is 1.24 acres. It's affordable and suitable, but it's on our candidate side. We need your help getting a change to M1. One of our product lines called White Box, so we have something in mind utilizing a shipping container building. But we're flexible. I have to get to engineering first. They're going to tell us, yeah, you can do it, or no, it doesn't make sense. Here are some examples of Georgia shipping container businesses in the Atlanta area. Believe it or not, those are all storage shipping containers. You can see them a little better here if they're shipping containers. That's a Starbucks. So it's not like it's a one kind, nobody's ever done it before. It's being used all over the country. And if you have a hurricane and you've got an adult like this and you're anchored to the ground, it's not going anywhere. Again, we have to get engineering to look at what we've got in mind. And if they say no, we're going to go another way. It's not something like this is the only way we're going to do it. But this is what we have in mind, and we'll see how the economics and the engineering plays out. Can I help with any answers for you? Any questions, Mr. Speaker? Oh, you've got to ask some questions. Come on. Yes. I was just going to say that it's a unique situation. I've done some research on the containers, and I mean, you know, they're virtually indestructible. I mean, you know. So. I'm going mean, to Hong Kong, they're stacked 12 and 15 high. You can say that. Obviously, you're probably too high. We're not going to want that. You can say with Savannah, most any major port. Right. But, uh, uh, 
I think it's, you know, if it turns out to be the, the Codex box, the shipping box, I think it's a great idea. You know, so one of our products lines is going to be called White Box. Mm -hmm. So our sign is going to be a white, probably a white 20 foot container with some white box on it. Okay. Make sure you have permits for it. Oh, yeah. We permit everything. I guess my question is uh, two parts. Okay. Number one, if you started immediately, how soon would you be ready for business? And number two, uh, how many people are you planning on employing? We're going to start out. The reason for the container business is we can stage in the size of our business. We might start out with four containers. And there won't be a building like you see there. And then we'll make four more containers. So we're going to start slow. I don't want to go out of business. I'm going to stay in business. We're going to start with just my wife and I. And we'll have some part-time help. I will hire physically and mentally challenged people because they're operations that they can handle. And I've used people like that before, and they're a good workforce. Uh, when we're all built up and finished, I'm going to guess we're going to have 20, 35 people. And I'm going to say it's going to take probably two years, maybe three years. I'm not going to promise you that six months I'm going to have all that built, and I'm going to have 30 people there. I'm not going to lie to you. I can't build a business that quick. Our business is based on sales on the internet. And right now we have most of our 85,000 followers, they're all in China. So we're shipping to China, not from China. And I know that's an anomaly, but that's just yeah. the way business is. Yes. I'm ask, what part of China are, are you coming out of? Uh, Shandong area. Shandong. If you're not familiar with China, if you know where South Korea is, it's like straight across the ocean. Yeah. Are there any more questions for our speaker? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Well, we've used our 10 minutes. Um, if there's anybody here that's wishing to speak uh, in favor of the case, we can take just a second. Is there anybody else here wishing to speak in favor? If not, is there anyone in the audience wishing to speak against tonight's case? Anyone in the audience wishing to speak against the case being presented? <clears throat> All righty. Okay. We have any more discussion? Questions? Awesome. Well, if there's no other uh, discussion, I'll ask for a motion. Madam Chair, regarding REZ 2019-02, I move that we recommend approval to the Lowndes County Board of Commissioners on the applicant's request for rezoning parcel 1504 Madison Highway from R10 to M1. Okay. I'm assuming there was no discussion on the motion at all. All right. All right. We have a second. The Chairman Walls. All right. All those wishing to vote in favor, raise your right hand, please. Motion. And any wishing to speak against? That is unanimous, Ms. Carmel. 